they're sending wire transfers from Hong Kong into Canadian banks, uh, massive amounts of funds. It's not just casinos and drug cash involved, it's drug banks. And it's a big loop of money loop moving around the world. I'll give you one case study that really illustrates it. I'm aware of uh, a case where uh, a woman who declares herself a student has bought a $15 million mansion in Vancouver, followed up by a $14 million mansion. By looking at the case, I understand that her family has transferred 100 million from China. They're uh, wanted, or the father is wanted on bribery and corruption charges, and they've wire transferred through these underground drug banks in Hong Kong, massive funds into Canadian banks that's gone straight into real estate. That's probably a more direct path to understand how Vancouver, Toronto real estate is directly uh, juiced. 